Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Last week I spent a few days at the Boss Open in Stuttgart. Had a great time there as usual, watched a lot of tennis, played some tennis, ate some excellent food and met many fellow tennis nerds. The Boss Open is an ATP 250 event, which was previously called Mercedes Cup. They changed the title sponsor this year. It was my sixth time there in total. I've greatly enjoyed every occasion. I do like ATP 250s because you get closer to the action. It's not as crowded. And I was lucky here to have both a press pass and VIP ticket since I used to sponsor the tournament with the company I worked for. And I'm also good friends with the organizer. So a little bit fortunate there. This allowed me some excellent seats close to the teams of Curios, which you might have seen on TV. I got a lot of messages about that. That's not really much of a team, Team Curios. It's only his girlfriend and his manager. I also sat next to Team Bertini on a few occasions very interesting to listen to the amount of encouragement and conversation not sure what is coaching or not if i don't understand the language but i didn't hear any explicit coaching that go goes on kind of from the team to the players a lot of forza 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 and find your first something like that from their entourage and uh, the boss open is very well organized uh, it's a lot for the tennis enthusiasts to enjoy there's food drinks games they have parties there some sponsor stands shops you can buy rackets at tennis warehouse with the vip tickets you get access to a very nice buffet of great food desserts salads wine and coffee all included in the ticket price so if you have the money for it or you can convince your company that perhaps you work for that it's a nice team event i highly recommend it. it's a great location for some meetings and entertainment i had also time to meet the tennis warehouse europe team with Seiko and the other guys, we had a hit at one of the clay courts at 7 in the morning, which is early, but if you're a tennis nerd, you're a tennis nerd. Thanks to Leon and Marcelo for hitting with me. I also joined a Pro-Am tournament on my last day there with Tommy Haas, Michael Berrer and Tony Nadal. But there were quite a few people and a tight schedule, so I didn't get to play with either of these legends. I have played doubles with Tony Nadal before in a Pro-Am event, but it would have been fun to play with Tommy and I would probably have recorded that. But it's an event more for the sponsors than us tennis nerds. It's always fun to play on grass, but it comes with its own challenges. You have fast, low bounces, some inconsistency. The serve is obviously super important. The rallies in between the pros are shorter. I did like when Mario played because he always gets the returns back. So you get some, some rallies going there. Some matches get a bit too uh, repetitive with the serve and not a good return or any return at all. The surface can be slippery at times. Uh, if you play yourself, you need to bend your knees and shorten your swings to keep up. Uh, but it's fun to watch. I kind of like the old school feel of grass. Uh, if you have two big servers, it's not the best experience. But if you have an interesting matchup, Mario Curious, whatever, you can get some very, very nice rallies. And with the boss open, you have side courts that don't have any seating. So at any time you can sit down and watch a practice session or a match. For the center court, you have numbered seats, but otherwise it's open to go and watch. I managed to catch a Mario practice session and I saw Berrettini hit with Sonigo. Uh, there was plenty of good tennis all over the place. And the field was very strong at this tournament. Tsitsipas, Berrettini, Kyrgios, Shapovalov, Hurkacz, Mari. That's definitely a strong one for an ATP 250, which seems to be the trend this year. Maybe because you don't get any points at Wimbledon, but you have many strong players signing up for these grass court events. For example, Mallorca now, ATP 250 has a, a very powerful field. I must say that Berrettini must be very happy with his first tournament back from his finger injury. He had injured two fingers. Uh, it was more severe than it might sound. Uh, and But he came back and he won the event by beating Andy Murray in the final in three sets. And that must give him a lot of confidence for the rest of the grass court season, which is kind of his favorite surface. Uh, I was lucky enough to sit in the press conferences with the players and he remarked that, you know, being a, a strong server and hitting a, a very good slice, he can use these strokes to, to win more matches on grass. That's why he feels so comfortable there. So big serve, big forehand, and then the slice bites really well on the grass. So overall, I can really recommend going to the Boss Open in Stuttgart. Stay at the Marie team. That's the player hotel. You'll eat breakfast among the players. That's a nice treat. It's also a good hotel. And the city itself, Stuttgart, is a nice experience if you want to go shopping or sightseeing or go to a restaurant in the evening. So definitely recommend this event. That's why I've gone there six times and I always have a great time there. So now you got a little bit of an idea of how it was and I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day now and don't forget to play some tennis.